Greetings everyone, Wolfins here. If there are two things that I love, they would be Sam and Max, Sam and Max. the ambiguously gay pair of detectives <laughs> who stop crimes by committing more crimes. For decades now, they have captured the imagination and hyperfixation of fans across the globe, stretching across various forms of media. such as games, comic books, and cartoons. Last time on Sam and Max. Despite this, Sam and Max have never really reached mainstream popularity, always just remaining a little niche. Which is something I don't mind. The fan base is pretty chill, and the games make enough money for merch, remasters, and re-releases. Wouldn't you rather grow up to be as cool as I am? With a boss car and a detective job and a huge gun? Hmm, would I have to be as fat as you too? Unlike the Sonic community, where people slit each other's throats over what shade of blue Sonic is, the Sam and Max fanbase is pretty welcoming and seems to enjoy all the games. In honor of the Devil's Playhouse remaster that is possibly coming out this year, I don't know, they announced it in January, but we haven't gotten much. Uh, I'm not rushing you Skunk Ape, the remasters have been excellent, and the Devil's Playhouse is the biggest, most fucking insane game in the series. So, take your time. All I am asking is, you know, for some more screenshots, or maybe a better trailer with some actual gameplay or character interactions. Please, I'm just, I'm just a junkie and I need my fix. I'm running out of merch to buy. Uh, where was I going? Oh yeah, in honor of the new remaster, I will be taking a look at one of their cancelled games to kickstart my new YouTube series where I cover cancelled games, but only stuff that interests me. Sam and Max are no strangers to video games, having their debut in the cult classic game Sam and Max Hit the Road in 1993, a certified banger. Uh, I've beaten it a couple times, but I will finish my Let's Play of it someday. I swear, I'm getting around to it. Uh, in the late 2000s to the early 2010s, Sam and Max had a trilogy of games made by Telltale. The guys who would go on to make The Walking Dead and Minecraft Story Mode. Uh, I'm sorry, but the concept of a Minecraft Story Mode is just... It's just so funny to me. Like, why? Who was asking for this? Anyways, these Sam and Max games were certified bangers and some of my favorite games of all time. Uh, although Telltale went bankrupt due to their horrible, horrible, I can't stress this enough, horrible financial decisions. Honey, come on over here, sugar buns. This machine just called me an asshole. These games lived on, and started to get a string of remasters released. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers, but we're strangers who have candy and cool guns you can play with. Well, that should be okay. On every single platform, starting in 2020, with the third and final remasters set to come out soon. They also had a VR game, but that doesn't really count because it's VR. VR is like the Wii, you know? It's pretty cool, it's fun to play around with, but it's just a novelty, it isn't the future of gaming. Was that the bite of 87? The Telltale Sam and Max games would have a beloved fan base with a cast of awesome recurring characters. Uh, you'd have Flint Paper from the comics finally make his game appearance. Stay in drugs, don't do school, I don't know, just leave the grown-ups alone, capiche? You had Bosco, you had Sybil, you had Jurgen, you had Abraham Lincoln. Lady, you a stone cold fox. Damn. And of course, the lesbian icon, Super Bowl. It's good for you, it's good for me. And usually, most people think of these games when they hear the name Sam and Max these days often completely forgetting about their comic debut. Uh, little do people remember that in 2004, The Rabbity Thing and Six Foot Seamus were set to make their console debut with the big budget title, Sam and Max Freelance Police. This wasn't some game that was cancelled in the conception phase, oh no. A shit ton of work was done, 
with fully 3D renders, fully recorded lines. <laughs> You crack me up, little buddy. Alright, so to give you the full scoop, we're gonna have to go back to the past. Sam and Max made their um, debut in the comics created by Steve Purcell. Steve Purcell later worked at LucasArts, who made point-and-click adventure games, and Steve Purcell made the cover art for games like Monkey Island, and uh, he would draw Sam and Max, and the people there, they liked Sam and Max so much, they wanted to give them their own game, and so they made Sam and Max Hit the Road in 1993, and it was a certified smash hit. It made LucasArts a lot of uh, green back, and it was a pretty popular game at the time. However, before Sam and Max decided to dip their toes into making a true video game sequel, they decided to make the transition to television with the short-lived and fondly remembered series, Sam and Max Freelance Police. While the show wasn't a smash hit for Fox, it certainly had its fans. Except for Doug Walker, who doesn't like the show because the characters haven't suffered enough. So this is another one that's hard to clarify who exactly would like it and who wouldn't. Because it's so odd and quick but doesn't focus that much on the suffering angle, it's hard to gauge the fan base who would enjoy it. And the suffering angle, and the suffering angle, and the suffering angle. Clearly he hasn't played the Devil's Playhouse. Uh, anyways, Freelance Police didn't do the numbers Fox wanted, however, they still offered the creator Steve Purcell a second season of the show, but with a reduced budget. And being an illustrator, Steve Purcell obviously turned down the offer, not wanting to compromise the quality of the show, and feeling satisfied with the work they had done. And like that, Freelance Police faded into obscurity. Nah, who am I kidding? Us Sam and Max fans love the show, and I've seen every episode 117 times. Where would Sam and Max go from here? Well, how about another video game? That did well before. Sure, and just like that, work on a new Sam and Max game began. And thus began a decade-long curse around the franchise. Much like the criminals that crossed their path, everything that came near these two would make an unfortunate end. Sam and Max Freelance Police was the game that never was. Ironically, this cancelled game had the same name as the prematurely cancelled TV series as mentioned earlier. Maybe it was a bad omen. Announced in 2002, the year of our lord, Freelance Police actually made it pretty far into development. Intended to be the worthy sequel to Hit the Road that fans had been begging and starving for for almost a decade, the game was actually going to be released on Xbox along with PC, which would have made it more accessible to the general public. You know, the casuals. Anyways, while Steve was busy working at Pixar, Mike Stimmel, the co-creator of Hit the Road, was set to be the project lead. Around 2002, LucasArts had kind of stopped making original games to focus on new Star Wars games, so the announcement of a new Sam and Max game was a big deal and had people shitting their pants with excitement. The game itself was absolutely wild. The story was split into six episodes, a lot like the future Telltale games, and the full plot is unknown. Most of the work was done for this game. With a fully-fledged trailer and a set release date, and the return of Bill Farmer and Nick Jameson, who voiced Sam and Max respectively in the first game. Funny enough, there was a scrapped part of the game where Sam and Max would have met their evil doppelgangers, who would have been voiced by the cartoon voice actors. This was cut kind of early on because TV voice actors would have been a little too expensive. This was long before the days of inserting Keanu Reeves into video games. It is unknown how much of the game was truly completed. However, the general belief is that it was well on its way to being shipped out the door. But in 2004, LucasArts just pulled a total dick move and scrapped it because they didn't feel like adventure games would be profitable enough. Out with the bad, in with the good. The 
This decision actually caused a hefty amount of fan outrage, even resulting in a website with over 32,000 signatures demanding that they finish the game. Now, this might seem small today, but back in 2004, these were insane numbers. Thankfully, this story has a happy ending. In 2005, LucasArts lost the rights to make new Sam & Max games, and a group of employees that enjoyed making adventure games and grew tired of not being able to work on the IPs that they loved left the company and formed Telltale Games, a studio dedicated to making adventure games, and is the sole reason that adventure games made it into the 21st century. Anyways, Telltale was able to get the rights to the Sam & Max games from Steve Purcell with full blessing, and the rest is history. I, for one, am kinda glad we got the Telltale games instead. I mean, look how terrifying Max looked. He looks like a fucking Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, not all cancelled games have the happy ending that Sam and Max had, getting to continue on as a franchise. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I plan to kick off a new series where I cover various cancelled games. Up next is the cancelled Metalocalypse game. And now, the blackest present for the most brutal of all bass players. You know what's kind of funny? The Metalocalypse and Sam and Max fanbase have a huge overlap. A lot of the people who enjoy Metalocalypse also enjoy Sam and Max. It's kind of weird. I'm one of those people. I love both franchises, so I can't wait to talk about the cancelled Metalocalypse game next. Like I said, this cancelled game series is only really going to be games that I'm interested in. But yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to try to get out as many videos as I can, but right now I am working a job and I'm going to college at the same time, so I make videos whenever I have some time off or some free time, which isn't as often as I would like, but I'm going to keep making videos and I'm going to keep trying to continue this series. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. Leave a comment if you can, and thank you for watching. Until next time, rock on and wolf out. When it's time to change, you won't know how It won't matter years from now No matter what you think or do or say Everything turns gray